In this day and age of active consciousness on communication, the term gaslighting has been added to our everyday vocabulary. We're starting to hear this term more and more, but not everyone uses it as accurately to describe what's really going on. So I looked up the real definition of gaslighting so you don't have to. To manipulate someone using psychological methods into questioning their own sanity or powers of reasoning. Essentially, gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation that is used to make someone doubt their own reality. It often leads to feelings of inadequacy, confusion, and insecurity. And it's done by subtly questioning a person's thoughts and memories, making them think that they must be wrong, that they must have misunderstood something. This can be done by manipulating the truth, denying conversations that may have happened, or telling the person that their thoughts and feelings are just flat out wrong. And in some cases, the person that is doing the gaslighting may also make threats or act aggressively to further implement that manipulation for control. And so there are some people who may try to use this to exert control over the conversation or a relationship. And it's important for us to recognize when this is happening so we don't fall victim to it. And so today I'm going to give you the five most common ways gaslighting is used within romantic relationships. The first one is withholding information and refusing to answer questions. Part of having a relationship with someone is trying to understand them, understand where they're coming from, understand how they think, understand their perspective especially trying to understand them when we don't agree with them. Yes, arguments can happen when you're both not on the same frequency about something, but part of bridging that gap is having both people being able to answer openly and honestly. If you're with someone and they outright refuse to answer certain questions to make the conversation more difficult or to withhold information because it seems to give them a tactical advantage, then this is a form of gaslighting. And we're most often gonna see this kind of way when cheating has happened. They may tell you a little, but they don't tell you everything in order to keep you in the dark. This next form of gaslighting is blaming someone for imagined wrongdoings. Blaming almost always tends to come out when the said person has realized that they've done something wrong. But they're so far and so deep into the argument or disagreement that their pride won't let them backtrack or at least appear to be backtracking. So then the focus shifts onto blaming someone else for what's happened. Blaming you for the actions that they've taken. Well, I behave badly here because you behave badly here. That in itself is just a sign of bad character. Someone who doesn't want to take accountability or ownership. It shouldn't be a tit for tat. Now, if you actually haven't done anything bad for them to pull you up on, then they might subtly fabricate a wrongdoing to help blame you for something. And this can be really hard to see because so often it's an action that is so close to something that you actually have done. So what I mean is this. Imagine if by accident you dropped one of the plates in the kitchen and it smashed everywhere. It was an accident. Yes, maybe you were clumsy, but by no means was it on purpose. Then the other person starts saying about how you deliberately smashed it because you were angry or emotional. And because you're an aware person and you like to take on reflective notions, you start to think to yourself, oh, well, maybe I was feeling a bit angry. Maybe I did smash it because I was emotional. Did I mean to smash it? And here's the thing. Reflection on our actions is really important to have. But when someone is imposing their intention on your action that you're reflecting on, while you're in the process of reflecting on it, it's easy for their reasoning to become your reasoning. And you start to believe what they say that you did. Essentially, it's heavily influenced reflection, which isn't true. Vic's next way of gaslighting that's used in many relationships is convincing the person that they're too sensitive or irrational. Now, while it is true that more and more people get more easily triggered today by the smallest things in which I really hope we do pass this kind of era of being triggered, when it comes to personal relationships, it's a different territory entirely, especially when it comes to a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Because there are things that maybe your colleague might do at work that actually don't really annoy you and it doesn't get to you that much because they're just a colleague. Yet if the person who you love and care about did that same thing, then it might hit different. In fact, it does hit different. Now, while it's the case that some of us can be more sensitive than others, if this is a consistent response, anytime you want to address something, anytime you get hurt by something, then this is a form of gaslighting. Because yes, it would be wrong to say that we could never be oversensitive about certain things. But if that's what we're constantly hearing time after time, 
and it's almost used as an excuse as to not take what we're saying seriously, then this person probably isn't the one for you. Because instead of listening to how you feel and why, even if they disagree with you, saying you're just too sensitive or irrational is just dismissing what it is you're trying to address. It's a sign that this person isn't looking to work with you as a teammate, isn't looking to build with you, isn't looking to learn with you. So be conscious if this is a recurring statement used against you. Which ties into this next form of gaslighting, dismissing your feelings or opinions as wrong. So sometimes you're not always gonna agree with your man. That's just life. It's normal, it's okay. And a lot of the time, it's an opportunity for growth. But if someone truly cares about you, even if they disagree with you, they would still value your feelings and opinions on the matter. Still be open to at least trying to understand why you feel the way you feel. Even if they do think it's completely unjustified, because a lot of the time, romantic relationships often provide a reflection of ourselves that we don't get from any other relationship. It's only with a boyfriend or girlfriend that we learn that maybe we are a bit too erratic, that maybe we are attention seeking, that maybe we are a bit selfish in the bedroom, or that we always prioritize how we feel over what they feel. However, just dismissing your perspective or opinions is a sign that they don't have a level of respect for you that the relationship needs in order to move forward. It's also a way of avoiding the reflections that they're getting from you. Because you may be right about something that they need to work on. And dismissing it stops them from having to work on themselves. It stops them from taking accountability. And this next form of gaslighting, constantly denying or contradicting their words and memories of events. There is simply no use in trying to talk to someone who just denies the things that they've said. Or worse, makes up things that they've said. Someone who intentionally and actively contradicts themselves on a regular basis. If they can't even acknowledge to you the things that they've said or didn't say, what they've said to you or the energy that they gave you that may have been hurtful, reflect on the actions that have taken place that has led you to this moment. If they can't do any of that, then your love, time and energy towards them is just undervalued completely. Of course, disagreements can happen, but there has to be a level of coherency. The first step to finding any solution is identifying the problem. And here, they're not even willing to identify the problem. And sometimes ego can come in because they just don't wanna admit that they're wrong. Their pride stops them from admitting wrongdoings that maybe at the time they felt was justified. And maybe you can even understand, I get why you did this at the time. But you'll even find that the deeper the argument goes, the more they contradict themselves or deny things. To which you start to question your own sanity because you're like, wait, am I going crazy? Or does this person not actually know what they've said or who they've been recently? Sometimes people can make mistakes, right? They may think they did something, but actually they did something else. But if denying and contradicting is a constant thing in them, then it looks like it's done intentionally and that is a form of gaslighting. So it's just something to be aware of. Do any of these stick out to you? I hope you're not recognizing any of these signs in a current relationship you're in, or maybe you recognize that's why previous relationships might have ended. If you're looking for a guy who sparks up your love life, make sure you subscribe to this wonderful tribe. And as always, keep it slick. Pack.